Good evening, this is Kuro. Gonna go on ahead and run you through uh, the uh, Aslant mod pack install. I know there was a lot of guys that had some interest on the mods that I was running. And uh, just gonna walk you through this real quick. So, got a video just to, to link to you guys in the future. Um, so basically, I've downloaded uh, the basically the way it works every time world of warships updates it busts your mods so you basically have to wait for them to update it they are pretty quick about it uh 8.4 good grief 0 0.8.4 is already out for as lanes i've downloaded it uh you get this scary little pop-up that uh you basically need to hit more info and then go on ahead and run the program anyway uh and that gets you to basically here. So I'm gonna select my language as English. And this thing is gonna fire up and we'll s away we go. Uh, if you've never used a mod pack before, you don't really know what you're looking at. Uh, check the, the box for show preview window and that will uh, give you an example of what it is you're installing in your game. Uh, basically general information uh, what they updated you want to make sure you're using the uh, uh, you're on the the correct location for the game for example I've got multiple clients installed for uh, EU for test servers things like that I want to make sure that I'm actually using my main client for these mods and then we're in uh, now, because I had Aslanes installed before, it automatically will select the mods that I had installed previously. So it, there's not a lot of going back through and checking things. Uh, you know, here, this is all, you know, a ton of, you know, info for, you know, different, you know, all sorts of different information, stuff like that. I don't really need all that stuff. Uh, I, I prefer to keep my client pretty stripped down to just what I want uh, available uh, or the, the most amount of information for the least amount of clutter. So uh, I'm basically going to run through what those mods are, but spend some time, you know, clicking through here. There, there are some good mods. There are some questionable mods in there that uh, I'm not going to get into, but I, I do think a couple of these mods start uh, treading on providing too much information for players and start removing skill out of the game. And uh, I personally, I'm not going to, to show those mods uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, I obviously won't run them, uh, but everything here is sanctioned by Wargaming. Uh, actually, a lot of these mods um, come up through from Wargaming employees uh, where they're being tested here prior to being put into the game. This is where uh, smoke boundaries and stuff like that, it all originated in these mod packs uh, that everybody would test out in the, in the game. And then it, if it was... A worthwhile addition to the the client they eventually adopted it so I'm gonna go on ahead and and start hopping in with what I I run and uh, this uh, this one isn't as critical uh, this is handy for small teams uh, basically what it is it just tells the HP pool for each individual team so basically on the fly during the course of the battle you can see okay which team actually has more more a general hp um it's again it's not critical information it's just on the fly it's a little additional information that uh can can give you some some knowledge about you know should your team be pushing or should you be more focused on defending and just kind of taken in conjunction with all of the other mods that I'm going to have on here. Um, it, uh, it can be handy. So you're going to keep scrolling down. There's a lot of different crosshair options, all that. I, I just use the standard vanilla 
dynamic crosshair. I don't need all the all of this fancy crap. Um, different camera, field of views. I I never play with any of that. And we arrive to one of the ones that you guys most uh, you request the most information about, and that's my mini map. Uh, one, I like to run the customized mini-map mini circles. I do that because the vanilla min, uh, the vanilla client's mini-map, the circles can get a little a little crazy with you know every, everything you know uh, having kind of the same colors, same pattern uh, to it. Uh, instead this changes you know like your detection instead of it being a dash line it's a you know an aura around your ship that you know you it's it's I find it more intuitive and it cleans up the the mini map as far as you know there's not nine million different circles that you're trying to identify what's what uh, so I like to run the customized mini map circles um, display target direction line this is a handy one for uh, torpedo boats in particular uh, if you're driving up here getting into position you can see are these ships turning out turning in you can cycle through these targets real quick and even it even if you uh, have like an island between you or something like that uh, this is really handy for uh, picking up even the the smallest you know turns and stuff like that so I like to run that just from a a general you know targeting basically information for uh, for target selection uh, going ahead and uh, on to the next one enlarge ship names basically I don't know if you can see it on here but it, it increases the uh, the size of the names by basically probably around like 40 50 percent uh, this is nice because if uh, you get ships clustered up in a, a single area the the smaller names tend to get washed out uh, much easier than the larger names so uh, obviously I like to run uh, last known position and if you just have a blob of ships up here you can't you've kind of lost that information but with enlarged ship names uh, you've got a general idea of what those ships are it's much harder to to lose that information due to clutter on your mini map and then the big one here team aware this is the mod where you you draw on the mini map for those that haven't used it before you'll see this little box in the top left of your mini map uh, you're gonna have two modes the the standard mode is just the the standard you'll see a grid in there uh, if you're in that mode you can just click on and ping individual circles just like you normally would holding down your control key uh, in the game to uh, enter this mode where you can draw on the mini map you'll click on this little box and you'll you'll see another box pop up with like a, a yellow like almost like zigzag line run through it and that's where you've entered the mode where you can draw on the mini map uh, now this is handy more handy for clan battles where your team has most likely decided as a team we're running this mod uh, it's not it's not going to be nearly as helpful for uh, for ranked because it's predominantly going to be random players sure you may come across a clan mate that uh, could be running this but in the grand scheme of things you can't rely on excuse me I'm uh, running on no sleep this week or this week so uh, just because you guys were so interested in this uh, in this mod I'm gonna go ahead and download it uh, this time so you can you can check it out uh, the the important thing to understand is that uh, people that are not running team aware they can't see what you're doing on the mini map unless you're in the standard pinging mode and in that mode you're only pinging squares just like everybody else on your team uh, the other important thing 
Um, if you're running team aware, you need to, uh, to run an improved chat. Uh, and you're running the improved chat to, to clean up the, the spam that team aware generates in your chat. For example, when ships get spotted or unspotted, it makes an entry into your, your team chat. And it's really easy for, you know, team aware to basically wash out your, uh, or overwhelm your, your chat <clears throat> and make it so you, you basically lose track of the information that your teammates are trying to relay to you. So if you are going to run team aware later on down here, there's an improved chat mod that, uh, I, I look at these as I wish they were right next to each other uh, because they're pretty much sistered pairs. Uh, if you run this, you must run that. Uh, so just take take my experience on it and uh, don't don't try to you know save space or something like that. It's it's worth it to run the upgraded chat or the improved chat. Uh, it is ranked. This isn't critical. Uh, this is just nice. Ranks can be grindy. Just let you know how you did over the uh, the session. Uh, it's not needed at all. Here you got different ports. You know, again, there's there's a ton of different uh, cosmetics and effects and contrails and tracers and. All of this stuff, I, I usually don't run any of this stuff simply because I, I like the way the game looks in general. Um, now here, remove unwanted text from the mini-map. That just removes the 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 jibber-jabber on the side of the mini-map that, you know, I, I don't need, you know, this here to tell me how autom autopilot control works you know I, I think I got it after 11,000 games thank you um, so this just cleans it up and gives me more real estate to work with so this is just a, a cosmetic preference uh, regen assistant I do wish that they would put this in the game basically this teaches people how to how to manage their HP pools uh, probably the best way that I've ever seen and uh, basically it tells you you know how much you you can repair you know how much HP you can recover with that uh, a repair party so for example this st. Louis in the yellow they're telling you the the maximum HP that you can you can repair uh, here it's basically saying 5,726 HP of the the total 6,871 uh, possible HP can be recovered if you repair right now. So this lets you know that hey, if I if I just wait for a little bit more damage, I can actually get a little bit. I can actually get the full amount out of that repair party. Um, so just. Uh, I think this is good kind of like training wheels for people to to understand uh, you know how to to preserve their uh, their HP or how to manage their HP uh, so we're gonna keep right on going now this is probably the most important for ranked uh, or any sort of competitive mode and that's score timer uh, score timer uh, absolutely should be in the vanilla client. It's damn near a crime that it's not. Basically, it tells you at a glance, if nothing else changes over the course of the battle, which team is going to win and in how long. So, for example, this top example, uh, the green team, you see the, the green square is completely highlighted. The red square is hollowed out. Uh, the green team is going to win in six minutes and three seconds if nothing else changes. If the green team doesn't lose any ships, if the red team doesn't lose any ships, nobody can test caps, nobody, uh, red team doesn't cap anything, you know, the game will end in six minutes and three seconds. 
So, uh, and you know, vice versa. If the red team's going to win, you'll see the red box uh, lit up with uh, a timer. And this really becomes good information uh, from the standpoint of you get down there to the wire. Uh, you want to know, do I need to, to make a move, make a play, make something happen? You know, uh, this tells you, do you need to be desperate for the win? Uh, do you need to try to make some desperation play to, to turn the tide? Or can you sit there and just play defensive? Uh, so many games have, have been lost or thrown away because guys didn't have this information or they guessed incorrectly. This removes all the guesswork out of it. Now, it's not perfect because obviously if something changes, excuse me, I'm running on like six hours sleep for the last three nights. Um, I'm dealing with uh, number two has been sick. And uh, he's not sleeping too well right now. But anyway, uh, so if something changed, you know, for example, the red team deletes two enemy ships and then they contest A and B, uh, this can, can change on, on a dime. So this is still very fluid. It's not set in stone, but it, it gives you that information. If nothing else changes, this is how the game is going to end up. And that's that's absolutely vital information so i've harped on that enough i'm going to keep moving on uh improve chat this removes all the spam from the uh from team aware uh if you're running team aware this is a must have and i mean i i prefer the the second uh improved chat by battle best uh it's just a really clean looking chat it it tells you you know what ship is uh, is posting the information. You know it's color contrasting. Uh, it's this is just a really solid, really good looking chat. So um, for me, I prefer that one. Going back through here. And this last mod, I don't, I, I almost never run a matchmaking monitor. I honestly, I don't really care too much. Um, there's names I recognize and names I don't, and uh, I'm just interested in seeing where this is going because this used to be a standalone program, and uh, well, actually, it is an external app, so I'm just kind of interested in seeing. Uh, where this is going with it uh, so just gonna test it out and and see what's going on with uh, this upgraded matchmaking monitor um, but once you've selected all of the mods that you want go ahead and hit next um, now for the installer option uh, remove all previous mods from the game uh, this is critical you want to make sure you're using the most up-to-date mods so you don't have any potential conflicts. So you're going to go on ahead and have uh, the installer clear everything out, then install everything in fresh. And doing it this way, I've, I've never had an issue with my mods. Uh, again, all of these mods are approved by Wargaming. So it's, you know, there there's... There's nothing that's going to get you in trouble or anything like that. Aslanes is 100% approved across the board. Uh, going to go ahead and hit finish. And we're done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, copy that address and uh, put it in the uh, description on the video. Uh, again, hope you guys are having a good night. Um, I'm going to call this video soon. Uh, or right now because I'm exhausted and I've got a chance to actually get about five hours sleep tonight, which is, yeah, which actually sounds fucking amazing right now. Excuse my French. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you later.